All right, now that we've cleaned off the block, we've removed the gasket material, we're down to bare metal, we're going to perform a flatness check of our deck surface where the head will mount. To do that, we're going to use a straight edge, so a machine straight edge, not simply a ruler, but a machine straight edge. We're going to use a set of feeler blades and we're going to use a flashlight. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to measure really in five different places. One, we're going to do three lengthwise across the block looking to make sure we have no dips or any warping happen. So one here, one in the middle, one on the other side. Then we're going to perform one inspection diagonally this way and we're going to move the straight edge and we're going to check diagonally this way. So initially and very quickly if you were just doing this in the shop you wouldn't necessarily need to get your feel blade you use a feeler blade to compare against a manufacturer's spec so what we know is that if we can get light through between and shine it around the straight edge where it makes contact with the block then we have some warpage now we know light is going to go through a much smaller crack than we could even get the smallest feeler blade this small feeler blade I'm using is one and a half thousandths of an inch, 0 0.038 of a millimeter. It is very, very small. We would check it by pushing it along the block and seeing if it fits between the block's flat surface and the straight edge that we've put on top. Now, that just took a little bit of time, whereas if you do it with your flashlight and we would shine to see, is there any light coming through between the deck and the straight edge and as long as there is no light shining through then we are good to move on we can actually say okay let's move on to the next check which would be right here and once again take that flashlight run alongside the straight edge see if you see it on the other side now am I going to see glowing right around where all the holes are of course I am that would be just normal the fact that the light is going in the hole and bouncing back up we're actually looking for right where the mating surface would be from the straight edge to the block. So if I just take a look at this surface right here, what we're looking at is just to make sure no light can get through. Or if you didn't want to use your flashlight, you wanted to be sure, use your smallest feeler blade and see if it fits between the block and the straight edge. And since it doesn't, we're ready to move on to the next one. And the next one being our first long check or longitudinal check across the block and again we do the same check I can start with the flashlight and then if I wasn't confident in the flashlight check I could use a straight or a feeler blade once again I'm sliding it along the block trying to see if it will fit between the block and the straight edge so we'll move that over after that one checks we move it to the center and we check along where all the firewall will be where the fire ring of the cylinder head will fit now this one's really important to prevent the, uh, combustion gases from exiting out that's often why we get a head gasket failure so let's check to see if there's anything with our feeler blade nothing there i could do it again with the flashlight not notice anything there and then we're ready to move on to the last check and that's this one right here so again moving with my feeler blade between the block and the straight edge sliding it along nothing there take my flashlight just to confirm and once again i can go along that edge and i see nothing that's fantastic now i do want to show you what it does look like if we saw some light shining through and I've intentionally used a uh, straight edge too long because if I extend it out all the way, if I find just that right moment, what I can see is that I can create my problem. And the fact that the straight edge is heavy on that end is causing it to lift up on this end. And that's going to simulate for us really what it would have looked like if we had had a problem. So once again, I'm going to take my flashlight and I'm going to shine it between the block and the straight edge and you can see that light just shining through that would be an indicator that I should take a feeler blade and see if I can fit my feeler blade between there and I can so then my job would be to continue to increase the size of the feeler blade until it doesn't fit anymore and the last feeler blade that does fit through that gap 
would be the size or the amount of warpage that has happened to the block. All right. So normally we wouldn't do that intentionally. We would allow the weight of the feeler of the straight edge to hold it against the surface of the block. And that works really well. And we would see that while it looked like it was a problem before, it for sure is not a problem when we do the job correctly. All right, so that's a very simple way for us and a quite quick way for us to check the block surface to make sure that it is ready to receive a new head gasket and a new head.